Hi, in this video we will go over examples of parametric curves. One example of a parametric curve that we used before is line between two points Q and P. If you recall, any point M on the curve can be calculated in terms of Q plus T times P minus Q. We can find any point M on the line using a parameter T. Let's put that dividing line between our parameter space and 3D space. As you recall, the range of parameters that evaluate to points between Q and P are 0 to 1. Let's call that T0 which is the starting of my domain, and T1 is the end of my domain. So when T is equal to 0, M will equal Q. And when T equals 1, M equals P. T0 evaluate to Q, and T1 evaluate to P. Halfway through the domain, 0.5, T equals 0.5, We'll evaluate to half the line. It's the midpoint. And every other value between 0 and 1 will evaluate to a point on my 3D curve. As you can see, the parametric equation of a line is one form or one example of a parametric curve. There is something very special about a line. That is, t at the middle of the domain evaluate to a point that is exactly in the middle of the line. Equal intervals along the parameter space evaluate to equal distances on my 3D curve, a line in this case. We can call that uniform parameterization. But this is not the general case. This is very special case and it applies to lines or a degree one curves but it doesn't apply to the general parametric curve typically you actually have intervals that translate to different distances on a curve let's take an example so i cleared my left side of my board so we can compare side by side an example of a curve that has uniform parameterization to one that doesn't and compare between the two. So this was parametric line. Let's take another example. Suppose there is a hill near your house and sometimes you enjoy walking up the hill and down to your friend's house. So you start at your house and end at your friend's house. Drawing a timeline of how long it takes you Suppose it takes you 100 minutes to get all the way from your house, so T0 equals 0, and T1 equals 100. So at T equals 0, that evaluates to your house, and T equals 100 evaluates at your friend's house. You found out that in order to get to the top of the hill, which is approximately halfway through to your friend's house, it takes you 70 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to get to your friend's house. So the first half of your curve took 70 minutes and the second half took 30 minutes. So in my parameter space, halfway through, which is t equals 50, does not evaluate to halfway through my walk. It actually evaluate somewhere in the first half. This is 50. 25, 75 will also evaluate to some location on the hill. The 75 will be just past the tip of my path. As you can see, Equal intervals on my parameter space did not translate to equal lengths on my curve. And this is called non-uniform 
parameterization. Nerve scurs are non-uniform rational B splines. So that first part indicates that in general, equal distances in parameter space does not translate to equal distances in 3D space. And that's the difference between the parameterization of different curves. You need to be aware of that because when you evaluate at mid-domain, you don't necessarily, actually in most cases, you don't evaluate to the middle of your curve. And you need to take that into account when modeling. Let's look at an example in Grasshopper. Using the same example we use to evaluate a curve, let's draw two curves. One is a degree one line, and the second is a degree three freeform curve. So I have my first curve and my second curve. And let's look at how does that evaluate in terms of equal intervals. I'll create a range of five values. And these will be my five parameters. Let's check what the parameters are. As you can see, my parameters are 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. And my curve is reparameterized, so I know my domain will be 0 to 1. So all these parameters will evaluate to points on the curve. As you can see, there is equal distance between each two successive parameters. Let's first select my line. Now I'll feed my parameters into the evaluation. And as you can see, equal intervals on parameter space translated to equal intervals on my 3D space. Now if I set my curve to be the freeform curve, let me zoom in. As you can see, equal distances on parameter space did not translate to equal distances in my 3D space. Far from it. So I can really tell that my curve, my second freeform curve, has non-uniform parameterization. And this is really the general case. So if you need to find a point right in the middle of your freeform curve, you can't use evaluate because it's hard to predict which parameter will evaluate exactly to the middle of the domain. And there is special calculation needed to find that exact point in the middle of your curve. There is a component in Grasshopper that will help you find that, which is evaluate length. This component ensures that your curve will be evaluated relative to the a length factor on your curve. And you can normalize to set it to 0 to 1. So if I feed my curve into the evaluate length, and my factor are the parameters, and these are length factors that are no longer parameters, but I'll use the same list of numbers. In this case, you can see that equal intervals of factors translate or evaluate to equal distances on the curve.